All right, guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another episode of the Hashtag Academy Season 3, Episode 4. And for me, this is one of the most important episodes of the series. This is when our remaining male trialists are going up against our men's first team okay it's a very important part of the series because we're going to see what their actual level is up against the people that they need to be potentially replacing in our team or at least playing alongside so all the rest of the series so far we've just seen them against other trialists it's only been relative ability now we can see how good they really are and are they going to improve our team big game for our, our current players as well to be honest to make sure they don't get replaced so i'm really looking forward to today there's a few things i need to fill you in on first and foremost we're not going to have any women in this episode. We're going to pick up the women's series in a later episode. Uh, we have lost a lot of players through this process, through injury, unfortunately. We've already lost the likes of Carlos Flood, Kieran Huddert, uh, Glody Kakezi last week, uh, Young Wu Han also fractured his wrist, so all had to not continue in the series. But last episode, we did put through Luca Capadia, and unfortunately, he's fractured his leg training for another team in the, uh, the time between this and and last episode, so he's obviously not going to be able to continue. So we send our best wishes out to all the players that got injured. We've been in touch with them. Luca, we're going to keep in contact with you as well. But that opened up an opportunity. So we had a spot to fill. What we did is an emergency live stream on this channel last night uh, to give the audience a chance to bring someone back. They voted in their thousands, and the person that got the most votes was Callum Palmer. Looking at the comments from last episode, a few of you were unhappy to see him go. Well, he gets another chance to prove himself. That's the beauty of this concept. It's worth noting though, obviously, because we didn't know Palmer was going to be in this episode until last night, he hasn't currently got a name or number on the back of his shirt. If he progresses, we'll get that sorted, but he's got a lot of people up against him. Also, we felt that the midfield of the players we put through was a little bit light, needed a bit of bolstering. So we also called back Brian Bontamba earlier in the week, who will be taking part today as well. I'm delighted to say we're joined by a hashtag legend, let's face it, hashtag Academy Series 1 winner, Scott Pollock is here, and he's going to help us by choosing a player to go straight through to the next round. And if you guys want to support the club in any way, then make sure you drop a like on the video if you're enjoying the series. Subscribe if you haven't already. Become a member of the channel by clicking that join button or using the link in the description and you'll start to benefit from some of these extra perks we're giving our members. But for now, we're going to crack on with the episode and let's go talk to some of the players. Right, so we're here at Race Nairs. What are you going to do today differently in order to go through? So today, I think I'll focus more on my defensive game, really. Like the last few episodes, I think I was focusing more on my attacking side like playing forward but um, today I think as I'm going up against um, good strikers today I think I focus more on my defensive game. Just got to give it your all really because obviously there's good quality all round but you just got to do what you can, get through, hope for the best and just leave it to the coaches. Um, I'm going to try to get another goal, try to get a few assists and just try to bully the centre backs a bit. I'm just going to try to keep it simple really. I don't try to do too much because I know the coaches aren't just looking for someone to get the ball and try to take on like <laughs> every player in the team, so yeah. And who is it that you're worried about from the first team? I mean, I've I played against um, Hashtag in the Friendly quite recently and I came up against um, George Smith. So um, I think I've, he's a good player, so I've, I think I'll focus more on sort of stopping the shot from him. I'd say Harry Honesty, just pace, that's all. But there's a few. Because if I'm going into midfield, it could be a bit of a struggle, but we'll see. I don't know many of the first team members, but I know Toby's a attacking threat. But yeah, I'll just see how the game goes. I can't lie on no one, you know. <laughs> I'm actually quite a confident person. I think up against anyone, I can just do my thing, so I'm all right. I'm good. Yeah. Devs, you're managing the academy today. We did this last time, we get to this stage, and I think it's important that I get to know the guys that are left in the process a little bit better, um, see how they interact with each other around the changing room, the warm-up, them to get to know me a little bit better, to get a sense of what it might be like working with me. Joe will take the first team. I think it's the best way of, of, of getting the best picture, I think, for the next step. Can you tell us a little bit about the first team today? We've got a few missing. It's based largely on people that are available. Um, so it's a slightly smaller squad than we'd normally have. And we have a new signing today as well? We do, yeah. We've got um, Bradley's going to be involved with the, the first team. He's someone who I've seen quite a lot of playing for Hadley. Uh, Hadley, obviously, have had two terrific seasons as well. I'm a young centre-back, so I feel like I can offer sort of youth to the team whilst also... Um, you know, offering also a bit of leadership because I feel like, especially with young players coming up now, um, they're sort of being sort of bred to be leaders now. So I feel like, uh, you know, I've, I've got that youth and sort of tenacity to make an impact too. So. 
OK, let's take a look at the team starting for the academy trialist today. In goal, we have Harrison Cole. In defence, starting left back is Byron Humbles. Right back is Matthew Waldridge. Centre back, Jamie Ovington and Rowan Dorling. In the holding midfield position, we have Yoni Vukaj. Uh, centre mid ahead of him, Liam Mulligan, with Jake Lindsay occupying a more central role to start today. Left wing, Joel Older. Right wing, we have Reese Antoine de Costa with Thomas Siemenschuk up front. On the bench, that leaves Ray Snares, Sam Blackholly, Joshua McFall, uh, Brian Bontamba, Callum Palmer, and uh, Benny Fiadzamore. Let's take a look at the starting lineup for Hashtag United today. First team in goal, Anthony Page. Left back, we have. Danny Smith. Right back, Jamie Hersett. Centre back, Ryan O'Rourke and Ryan Cosson. So two Ryans together. Centre mid, Ross Gleed and Chris Newby. Newby, a former teammate of Callum Palmer at Palmer's, by the way. Uh, head of the midfielders, we have George Smith occupying a slightly deeper role than usual, but that will change later in the game. Left wing, Triple H, Harry Honesty. Right wing, Toby Aroma Laren. And up front, Joe Gregory. On the bench, that leaves Keenan Hughes-Mason, Sam Bantic, and our new signing, Bradley Marriott. He's a new signing. We've signed him from Hadley. It's an exclusive for the chat. Let's get on with the game. We're going to do a minute silence now. Cindy CB's mum. It's me and Seb's nan. We're underway here. It is Hashtag Academy in the black and white. Hashtag United in the yellow and blue. Some of these boys in black and white, Seb, could be in yellow and blue in a few weeks' time. I'm looking forward. This is the first proper 11-a-side game I've ever seen Ryan Costin play for us. Yes, yeah. Thomas, Thomas has played step four, Thomas Siemenchuk, um, which is a step we hope we're going into. So he shouldn't be that out of his depth at all. Here's Joel Older. Hattrick man. Here is Thomas Siemenchuk on the ball, looking for Jake Lindsay in behind. Can he bring it down? Not the worst touch I've seen. Pagey with a save, puts into the side netting. And that's, that's the Lindsay in a central position, Seb. Straight over the top. Chance created, mate. That that just showed more than anything that our defence have got to be switched on today. The reason Callum Palmer's here is because of Luca Capage's injury, unfortunately. Um, fractured his leg. Chance for Antoine de Costa on the header. Pidi clears. Yoni Vuk has just tripped over himself there. Nice, though, from Luke. Nicely. From Yoni. He's thinking about a shot, I think, maybe. No. He's going to come back to Dorling. Dorling has got a pass on him, you know. Here's Lindsay. Lindsay, still Lindsay, still Lindsay. Penalty, Ref! he's won It's it. a penalty. Lindsay. Jake Lindsay wins the penalty. And was that up against Cosson, I think, might have given that away? Cosson or Newby, maybe? I'm not sure exactly who gave that away, but I it mean, is a penalty. It's just great feet, wasn't it? In and out of the players. Jamie Hersey, give it away. He's just been confirmed by his brother. And Spencer, Jake Lindsay's taking it. Well, he's won it. He's won the penalty. It would have been an assist. It won't be an assist if he scores. Now, this is interesting. Wow. Massive moment for Lindsay. Yeah, it's a huge moment. He's won a penalty. Can got, he score I, it? I feel like he's going to go bottom right. I think he's, I think he's going to score it. Jake Lindsay goes down the middle. They all count, Sebby. Jake Lindsay. I mean, fair play. Am I allowed to say he's done well now, guys? Is that all right? All right to say he's done well because he's just done an unbelievable little skill to win the pen and then put it away. Fair play. Lindsay is handling everything he's been thrown at. Different position change, everything. You know, he's just he's just handling it, Seb. I actually think that some people are saying that I'm being biased towards it. I actually think that because of the sort of accolade I gave him from the beginning, that's actually made it harder for him. Yeah. Because now people are looking for him to fail, in a way. That's what I'm saying. He, keep, and he, keeps, he keeps delivering. He keeps rising to it. He keeps delivering. Okay, so we have a very special guest, and that person is none other than Scotty P. It's been four years, okay, since he won the Academy. You're here now. How you doing? Yeah, well, good. Doesn't feel like four years ago I was on that pitch. Feels a lot sooner than that. But um, yeah, all good now. Tough season for me personally, being injured the whole time. But yeah, I think I'll be stronger when I'm back. And obviously you're here today. You've got a very important job to pick a player. Have you seen some of the players in the past episodes? Yeah, I've been watching a couple of the episodes. Um, obviously a lot of talent this, this year. Um, yeah, I won't, say, I won't say yet. But I'll keep my, my cards close to my chest. But um, there's a couple. There's a couple I'm looking on. So Cal obviously won the vote to come back. How does it feel being back? Yeah, it feels really good to be fair. Like I'm over the moon with how many votes. Like yeah, I got last night. I think it was like, 800 to 300. Who was in second? Yeah, I'm just yeah over the moon to be back. And thank you to all the fans and supporters. Jesse Wallace is still involved. Jesse was just unavailable today. Jamie Hurston. Another short one. Is that Spartan-like ponytail? It's not a bad ball. That was a really good ball in from Jamie Hurston. Really good. And there was three guys at the back stick. Yeah. And none of them were having their delayed enough run to meet the header. 
It was a striker, Thomas Siemenchuk, who ended up heading it away. As this rain comes down, I'm liking it. I want to see what they can do in these conditions. Toby goes to ground, but keeps well, going. Through. Can he get across, across, Toby? Chance. Gregory was there. Needs to be dealt oh. with. Cleared in the end, I think, by Rowan Dawling again. Rowan Dawling's playing fantastically well today. Yeah, the academy of defence is mad, says Lola. Yeah, well, you're forgetting. We've still not got Marlon Harewood's pick of the, of the bunch. Sam Blackholly to, is, is to come in. We've got Joshua McFall to come in. And we've got um, another centre-back to come in, I think. Uh, Ray Snares, yeah. George Smith trying to win this. Keeper needs to get his hands Joel on it. Gregory. Joe Gregory gets it. It's a difficult one for Harrison Cole to deal with. Both the big strikers in there, Smith and Gregory, but it's Gregory gets the goal. It's a difficult one. I need to see it again before I pass too much judgment, but Harrison Cole came for it. It looked maybe as if he sort of didn't properly commit to that and fair play, George Smith and Joe Gregory putting themselves where they need to, put themselves about where they need to and yeah, 1-1. One, one. It's 1-0, one mate. Bring it over. It is 1-0. It's been a bit frantic. We've been a bit... Um I'd say we look like we're matching their energy, but we should be more composed. You know, they're, they're, I can understand why they're under a mile an hour, but we shouldn't be. We should be doing a little bit better than we are, but I'm sure that might settle them down, and I think we'll go on and win it now. Oh, Harry Honesty flicks it over to Nubi. Heavy touch. Anton de Costa. Oh, it's not a oh, bad knock. Wow, that was unbelievable, by the way. Thomas Siemenchuk, is he going to get a shot off here? He's dragged it. Right, I'm going to be honest here. I know there was an option for Joel for him to square it to Joel Older, but he would not really get remembered for that sort of assist. It would be remembered for Reese and Joel. And you've got to be greedy in this sort of process. Thomas, he's taking it on. He's putting himself out there. He's missed. In a, in a team game, he should have passed it. But in an academy game, he had he should have, he took it on. He yeah, did but right he thing. needed to score. Oh, of course. Now he's missed it. That's the gamble. Ryan O'Rourke, Gregory, as you touch. It's not bad. Not he's bad, got Aldridge. Oh, oh, I like that from both of them. That was exciting. Neither of them bottled that. Mulligan doesn't get that down. Oh. It's a chance here for Thomas Siemenschuk. He's got older to his right. Is he going to scream for it? Thomas oh, is going well. on his own. Thomas! Great big save. save. Older. Puts it back into Lindsay. I'm going to I'm give Thomas some credit because he carved that chance out in between two defenders. He did really well. And it's just a good save, Spen. Yeah, that's what Paige does, mate. Paige has got Great that in his save. locker. And that is a little lesson to Harrison Cole at the other end. See, this is what you're coming for, mate. Yeah. This. Delighted to be joined by the man who sang the national anthem superbly before kickoff there, Lloyd Griffith. Mate, pleasure. How you doing? Uh, thanks very much for having me. It's lovely to be here. What have you thought so far of this game? Do you know what? Speaking to a few of the boys downstairs, I thought it would be heavily favoured for the first team. But <laughs> I mean, even from, and from the off as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've done well. The lads in black have been absolutely taking this game to yeah. them. And I mean, deservedly should be... A few more up. Reese, you just come off. How do you feel like it went? Um, really aggressive. Obviously, it's men's football. I should know this, but when you get out there, they're proper really giving it to us. First five minutes, everyone's playing a bit safe, keeping it simple, but it uh, started to open up a bit, got a bit physical, and I think we've played really well so far. We should have tried to keep the ball a little bit better, but all in all, we should be about 3-4-1 up. Like we've, we've had a few one-on-ones, couldn't finish them, but I think we've done quite well so far. And does Joshua McFall have to go off? Because he did have an injury issue, and I think, is that him walking around the side of the pitch now? I think he had to go back off, bless him. He's only 18. He had an injury issue before the game. We checked him out with the physio. He was approved to play, but I think he's had to come off, bless him. Oh, it's an own goal. It's an own goal. And I think it's off Ray Snares' his head. I, I think it's Ray Snares, the young 16-year-old, youngest player left in the, in the competition. Has, it's just kind of uh, ricocheted off his head there, isn't it, Lloyd? Yeah, it's unfortunate. He obviously looked a little bit gutted as well when it went in. A hand straight on his head, bless him. But, um, you know... You're in those areas, it's going to go one or two ways, isn't it? Sadly, it's not gone for him today. How's he been overall? Ray, yeah, he's been really good. I mean, considering he's 16 at centre-back, he, he can obviously progress a lot. Uh, but it is 2-1 to hashtag United now. Oh, Jamie Hurst has missed that one, though. And then we've got, I think Matthew Waldridge has come on at left-back for the injured Josh McFall. He's a right-back by trade. He's kept this on. Look for Benny! Oh. And there it is! And Matthew Waldridge... Jumping in at left back has gone and got an assist and Benny gets a goal. That was an incredible finish. That composure there. A lovely bit of, I think what they call techers there, Spen. I think they do, mate. Um, That's a great By finish. the way, these games never disappoint. Four goals already, not even half time. 
Just goals everywhere. Benny Fiatsamor saved by the viewers last week on the viewer vote. So the viewers, Lloyd, everyone watching, gets to they get to save one player today. Oh, great. Amazing. Scott Pollock gets to pick another one. Like it, wasn't, it wasn't Waldridge that scored. It was Benny Fiatsamor. Waldridge has assisted that. So Waldridge, I, so when Waldridge was on the left-hand side, I thought his touch was a bit heavy, but he managed to get to the byline just in time and nick it back. So yeah. great, great assist. Well, Devs is actually managing the academy today oh, against he? his own team. So it's our assistant manager, Joe Keith, managing the uh, oh, first uh, team. I mean, at full time. I imagine Devs is going to give it. Benny. If he had some more, he's going to get a shot off deflected. And this is what I was saying about Benny, guys. If I, I've been fully honest with you guys, I don't think he would have got through last week if it wasn't for the fan vote. But he's in the game now. Once you're in the game, you're in it. You can win it. If he comes and scores a hat-trick, there's no way he's not going through. He's in his hands or he's he, in his feet. He's turned up. He's done a job. And he can take it all away. Palmer wants it here short. He gives it to Joel Older instead. Bit of a stitch up from Black Holly there. Still going. No. Oh, it's half time. He's no injury time he whatsoever. Not even, we had four goals, not playing any injury time. Ref. Maybe he's got somewhere to be. He might be able to watch the FA Cup final. He, he wants to watch the FA Cup final. Well, it's 2 all at the break, guys. Uh, and you'd have to say the academy would probably be the happier of the two teams after that. Tobes, what's it like out there? Mate, we ain't trained in how long? Mate, it's a blow, but it's, regardless, they haven't played with each other at all. That's a new team, innit? Yeah. We're a team. That's so, that's appalling. It is appalling. It's a joke. It's a joke, but the second half, we need to come out. Joe needs to give us a talk and we have to come out and be better than that because if not, you might as well just switch the 11s. Really good, particularly impressive. The fact that there was six changes made mid-half. doesn't matter who. When you make that many changes, there's always a danger that things can fall apart a little bit just because it takes a little time to get a get a grip, get to the pace of the game. So on the whole, really, really good. He's giving us lots to think about. There's no one, no one out there already, and it's only halfway through, but already I'm looking at it and there's not one person there that has been on the pitch and not done themselves justice. Uh, Sam Bantic is on, is he? Uh, is that number seven? Yeah. So who's gone off then? So it looks like... I'm just trying to work out who's where. I think Bradley Marriott might be going centre-back. And I think Bantic might be going behind the striker. And Joe Gregory's gone off. Here is Eddie Cooper. Eddie, welcome. What did you make of the first half? A good first half, to be fair. Yeah. Quite enjoyable to watch. Um, yeah, the, the academy boys showing their, showing their talents. Yeah, I mean, to all, it's very much a game on, isn't it? Very good game. Been, um, been some good performances. Jake Lindsay winning the penalty. Very nice bit of skill. Who impressed you most in the first half? Uh, oh, I think it was a really good team performance. Um, I think I've, I'm, I'm biased. I've got my favourites um, left, in the, left in the competition. I think I think Yoni does yeah. the simple yeah. things. Yoni Vukaj. I yeah. think he's he's class. Jake, he's um, got some great feet. Jake Lindsay. Um, yeah, I, I, I'd like to, I like Liam. I'd like to see him get on the ball more. Um, Liam yeah. Mulligan. Yep. Yeah, yeah, Liam Mulligan. Very 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 techy player. Yeah. Um, Joel Old have been a bit quiet. Been good throughout the process, but. Not quite, uh, not quite done anything yet, but it'd not be good been to see today, him. Yeah, he's not. I mean, he obviously had a massive thought about ten minutes last week when he scored three goals, wasn't yeah. he? And yeah, and not added enough, has it? Let's be honest. So who's got the goals for the academy? We've got Jake Lindsay with a penalty and yeah. Benny. Yeah. So far, just an update for you guys. I know some of you are asking. Who we got here? Lindsay whipped in. Not a bad ball. Good ball. No one's going to be. Benny, but here is Waldridge forward again. Surely not. He's got it. He's oh got it. God. What a finish from this uh, kid. Waldridge. He is a serious player. He that could is, be. Uh, could be one of the contenders. And he's still playing left back. Yeah. He's still playing out, out of position. position. Waldridge, goal and assist this game. Goal from centre mid last week is a header. Fantastic. He's been fantastic. Honestly, Matthew Waldridge is looking like the real deal. Louis Burkane, Lewis messaged me in the week and said, Look out for Matthew Waldridge. He's a proper player. Proper player. He's gone, obviously, I suppose, wow. in the fullback positions as well. You do tend to go a little bit unnoticed, which is why I think Marlon's pick, um, Sam Blackholly, was, was quite a surprising one from a lot of people watching the highlights because yeah. they are only highlights. Yeah. But Matt Waldridge, again, he's, he's another one that's impressed throughout the process for everyone that's watched every minute sort of thing. Uh, but our first team in a bit of a difficult position at the moment. We don't know what league we're going to be in. We've had no season finish for two years. The boys are all a bit down. You know, they've lost a couple of friends. You played against us in one of them. Of course. You scored against scored us. Scored against, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you know all Good about goal that. goal as well, actually. Yeah. <laughs> you do say so yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Harrison mistake Cole. Mistake from Harrison and capitalising on a Harrison Cole mistake. Basically, a ball into the box. Not sure who played it. Dropped right in front of Harrison Cole. 
He's come to pick it up and it's kind of, did it go through his legs or just bounced round? I think it, it bounced, he caught it and sort of half caught it, dropped it and then Jules Smith pounced. So it's a mistake from Harrison Cole there. He's not going to like watching that one back, unfortunately. And it means straight away, hashtag of equaled things up. Three all now, game on. Attacking instinct from uh, George Smith there. Yeah, right place, right time. Always. Best players. Oh, yeah, Keir's on the pitch now. The reserve team, Gaffey, could be managing some of these people in the reserve next season. Might see, might see him at training. <laughs> yeah, he might do. I think he's... Good it, football. Oh, hello. Link up between Smith and Banting. This bodes well for next season. If Is he, he can on? score it... Is he on site? Oh, questionable. I think the flag. I thought he might have been off, but no. Yeah, flag stay down. Either way, goal you, kick. you need to hit the target, don't yeah, you? Yeah, should be should be doing better from there, George. Nice to see them linking up, though. For next season, that's a good sign. Oh, I actually think we might be playing wing backs. Yeah, I thought there's well, there's three at the back now. Yeah. You've got Humbles, Snares, and Ovington. I think we've got Black Holly as a right wing back. Anyway, I told you, 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 you might have a go. Show. I told Ooh. you he might have a go. I fancy him from that range. You could hit Paige. Corner. Comfortable, comfortable save though from Paige. I think yeah. you'd expect him to make that every time. Yeah, so I think Reese Anton Costa is playing left wing back right now. And I think wing Black Collie is an playing interesting right decision back. from Devs for uh, Reese. Jake, how have you found the game? Uh, it's been good. I think we've kept the ball well. Uh, particularly first half, we were better than the second half. Um, second half, you can really see the experience that they've got on us. Uh, we've got a young side out there, but I think we've done well. Went out to left back. I think both of them came from there. Because obviously you can cut inside all the basics, but. I enjoy going inside, cutting in, finishing it. We've been playing very well as a team, stroking it around, scoring a few goals, cleaning up at the back, doing all the basics right. We're on the ropes. We actually really are on the ropes, and I reckon they could actually nick this and win, which I don't really want to say, but I'm going to say it. Harry Honesty down the left. Here he is, Scotty P of Northampton Town. How are you, sir? I'm very well, thank you. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be back for the third series now. So you came a bit for the second uh, one as well. Yeah. You yeah, actually called series. the winner. I did on the first did. first episode. Um, I don't know if I said remember. Did I say remember the name? You did. I you did. did. We yeah. made you. <laughs> <laughs> Forced me. Forced me to say it. Yeah. Remember the name, Josh Asude. And yeah, um, yeah he's go. gone gone on to do well. The big question is because obviously you've been you're going to be picking a player today, Scott. Yeah. Yeah. Who's who's caught your eye? Um, there's been a couple of players. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously a lot of talk about Jake Lindsay. Yeah. Um, who who re has someone said to you? They re he reminds us. Yeah, yeah, like a couple talks, times, yeah. mannerism and everything like that. Yeah, it's got a bit about that. Yeah. Well, I um, think he might be older than you. Is he? How, yeah. Are you twenty? Twenty now. Yeah, yeah, he's twenty-one. Twenty-one, yeah. Nice. How? How? Yeah. This kid doesn't age. <laughs> this kid is still only twenty. Um, yeah, obviously, there's still fifteen minutes left as well so to change yeah. your mind. But yeah, yeah. So Lindsay's up there for you at the moment, is he? Yeah. Uh, a tap in from Gregory actually was the first goal. They made their own goal, and then we had the goalkeeper error for George Smith's goal. So the academy have worked a lot harder for their goals. But the hashtag first team are going strong here. Harry honestly has got Gleedy on the edge in Acres. If he can pick him out, he looks to find Bantic. Bano! Big oh, save. save. That's good. Save, yeah. He needed that, Harrison, because he was a bit of fault for the third goal. But that's, that was decent. When you look at this academy team now, can you, can you see the progression? In yeah, terms I think of you can tell especially they've got better. in the first half, they were pretty much dominant side. Yeah. Um, when our first team obviously progressed as yeah, well. Yeah, progressed as well, and against a strong, strong hashtag team, hashtag team today. Um, yeah, I think for our oh, was a penalty. It's a penalty to hashtag Humble. Oh, I'm not sure who it was against. I'm thinking maybe Bon Tamba because he just got a little stroke on the back of the head from Ovington. Um, we'll have to check that, but it is a penalty, and it's a chance for hashtag first team to take the lead. They've been behind multiple times today. But the hashtag first team could take the lead. And it's Chris Newby on the penalty. Good pen. Great pen. Great pen, yeah. He says he doesn't miss pens, Chris Newby. Fair play. 4-3. What a game. I think it's be interesting now to see how the academy sort of bounce back from this. It's, being it's down, really... Being down a goal now. It's set up for some drama, isn't it? Yeah. Corner coming in low. Older looks like he's on a mission to prove something here. Heads it over to Ovington. Kears does well. Bano. On the right side. Newby on the overlap. Still Bano. Looking for Gregory. Gregory doing well. Back to Bano on the left foot, maybe. Bang. That is what Sam Bantic can do, Scott Pollock. Did he start the move, though? He, he did. The yeah. yeah, Bano started, started on the right. Finished it. The great finish as well. On his weaker foot. Was it? Weak yeah, foot? his right foot. Yeah. yeah, that was good. That was good. 
And that's 5-3 to the first team now. And they've kind of pulled away with it a little bit now. You wonder if uh, the academy have got enough to get back. Who out there for the academy has impressed you today? <sighs> There's been a few. I like, is it 84? 84. And I think Lindsay's been, a, he's been bright on that left side. But you, you expect that from him. But it's hard. It's hard to choose. They've all been good. Like they've, they've scored three against us. Do you know what I mean? So they've all done well. Here we go, Thomas. On the, I, I like. I like Thomas. I'm not going to lie. I think he's got a bit about him footballing wise. Once again, the ref plays almost no added time whatsoever. <laughs> Forty seconds, and we're done. And it's a five-three win to hashtag United. Didn't look like that was going to happen in the first half, Scott. I thought the academy no, uh, looked better. Yeah, the academy came out really strong in the first half, but. Um, Maybe they tied up. Obviously, a few changes, different formation, but I don't know, it looked a little bit leggy yeah. in the end. Scotty P, it's come to that one important time. Who is your golden buzzer player? So, it's a few players I've had in mind over the over the game, and I'm um, going to go with Jake Lindsay. I think I do I see the resemblance a little bit in me. I obviously won the pen, scored the pen. Um, so yeah, that's going to be my golden buzzer pick. Okay, so Jake Lindsay continues on to the next episode. It's time to find out who the fans went for on the live vote. As you can see, it was Yoni Bukaj who came out on top. Well-deserved winner of the fan vote. He's also through alongside Jake Lindsay. I'm buzzing. I thought I had a, I thought I had a good game, especially in the first half. I thought I'd done well. And then when I come back on the second half, slightly a little bit slow, but I picked it back up and I, I thought I was ticking it, ticking it about. At this point, we lost, but I'm really happy to, to get through and thanks to the streamers, I'm through to the next round. Right, now it's time to find six more players to go through. It's going to be a lot of players that are missing out. We need to go and chat with devs in the group and see who we're picking. Okay, guys, come to that time again. Deliberation time. We have 17 players here. We need eight players for next episode. However, two of those decisions have been taken out of our hands, but we do have six spots left. For me, for me, I thought actually man of the match today was Waldridge. I thought he played, he played left back for a bit when he's a right back, centre back, centre mid. Got a goal and an assist. From left back. From left back. Got a goal from centre mid last week. He's actually a centre half. Is that what he says? He said uh, he came out of youth, youth football into men's and he's been played at full back, but he's kind of grown up as a centre half. So. Humbles, what, what is his best position, Devs? He thinks he's a centre half. I'm not sure he's shown us enough discipline as a, as a centre half but you can tell that he was not most comfortable when they put him at left back in certain situations I did have a conversation because he, he kind of said I'm not left back and I said I think potentially you are what do you think though then do, do you think as a left back he could potential well yeah before he's got an injury, he? so got an injury Josh he yeah really dis he was devastated Dev I mean devastated he, he wanted to stay on but he got a knock last week. He had heavy strapping on his ankle. He wanted to give it a go, but within minutes of being on the pitch, you could tell he was limping. And we've got a duty of care, especially to like young players. And I've said to him, you know, get fit, come back pre season okay. and, and see. It's going to the centre back position. So we've got three other centre backs here, if you include Humbles as one uh, Ovington, Dorling, and Snares. Snares being the youngest, 16. He's going to be, he looked like he's got the potential to be a very, very good player. Yeah. Ovington, what do you think? You look at the, those. He's three and, years older than Snares. Yeah, but you also you start to look at maybe you compare him to Rowan Dolin. There was a few things he did really well, but I think there was lots of things he just did well. And I'm trying to think of a moment where I think he really let himself down. I don't really think one for the whole process. Right back, we've already put Waldridge through, can play a number of positions, but we've got Black Collie as well. First few episodes, I think he really stood out up to that episode where, where Harewood picked him, but I think the last few, he's kind of just blended in, blended in with blended. the rest of the crowd a bit. Yeah, he's not, he's not stood out as much at this high level. Those younger players are the guys that really we want to work in with us for a little bit longer and see how they, yeah. they develop and push. Moving into midfield, so we know that Yoni's gone through in sort of defensive midfield, centre mid. So, mid centre mid, we've also got uh, Liam Mulligan. He's only 19, but he doesn't play like a 19 year old. There's two players left that we haven't talked about that were both saved by audience votes at some point. One being Benny Fiadzimo, one being Callum Palmer. Benny got a goal, um, but I mean, for me, if you're talking about comparison to Thomas, I, I prefer Thomas. I think he's much more active in the game, he gets other people into the game, uh, creates chances for himself as he did a few times, didn't necessarily take them. If you're putting him, if you're picking a team for the first team tomorrow, you've got 
Bantic, George Smith, Joe Gregory available, is Thomas getting in? Well, let's go back to Callum Palmer then again. He was saved for the audience vote. Um, I think it didn't really impact the game for me. He, no, he works very in, hard and he presses yeah, very hard. Interestingly, I thought he did better than he did last week. Yeah. Callum's another one, 23. Mm. Is he better than the players we've got? Okay, so let's go to Alden and Costa. You could take them both through. There's no reason why you couldn't. With Reese, I think some we need to consider he's been out injured for a long time. You've got to look at some of them slightly differently. So some of them you look at, are they ready now? Some of you look at potential, like, and that potential is, would he be able to play in our first team? I think with both of them, yes, they would be able to play in the first team. But there's, they, equally, they could find themselves at the wayside if they didn't, they have to be at it. But you've got Lindsay as well in that same yeah. position, is already yeah. through. Right, so I think we've got our eight guys. We've done well considering the level of the players. Yeah, I'm happy with it, everyone happy? Yeah, happy. Yeah. Should we go tell them? Yeah, do it. Let's do it. All right, lads. So this is probably well, it's the first time we've actually done it like this, this, this series. We used to do it like this all the time, but uh, this is difficult now, obviously. We've just sat down for a little chat. Uh, there's 17 of you here right now. We're taking eight through. So it's less than half, just under half. Um, very difficult discussions. I've said it before to the other lads who've exited already, but I'll say it again. Like you, You've all done tremendously well. Really, really good to get this far. Um, like I say, thousands of, of applicants, but we obviously have to proceed with the process and we need to really start cutting it down now because we're getting closer to the end and obviously we need one winner. I will ask you all to step forward as I say your name, starting off with the two we already know are through. Um, Jake, you were picked out as Scott Pollock's uh, sort of man of the match, if you like. So you can step forward, Jake. We know you're going to see you in the next episode. <laughs> Likewise, the audience vote, Yoni, that went to you. So Yoni, you're through, well done, very good. So yeah, then we had to choose six names, right, of everyone else. It was tough. As I say your name, please do step forward. So next player we want to step forward is uh, Byron Humbles. Well done, Byron. Well played. Rowan Dorling. Rowan, well done. Matthew Waldridge. Well played. Okay, next uh, name we're going to go with is uh, Joel Older. Joel, well done. We'd like to see Reese Anton de Costa again. Well done, Reese. And I think there's just one name left, and that's Liam Mulligan. Liam, well done. Congratulations. So, very difficult decisions, chaps. Commiserations to those of you that we, we haven't been able to put through. Uh, as Devs has mentioned, doesn't mean it's the end of the road at hashtag if you want to pursue. There's plenty of players that have gone out at earlier parts of the process than this and still had a massive part of hashtag. Best case in point would be Jack Martin from last series who didn't get past the first trial episode and he played 20 games for us that season but I do thank you all for taking part the other eight of you yeah, the hard work continues from here uh, we'll see you next time and which we're probably going to go from eight to four next episode so it's going to be another halving of the group which will be really tough but we'll see you then well done everyone thank you okay well, there you go, guys. That is just a bit of the series that I really don't enjoy. Um, but you have to do it. Don't be surprised if we see some of the guys we've lost again in the hashtag shirt. But I'm very happy with our final eight. We've got a nice balanced squad there. It's a young group of players. Jake is the oldest player left at 21 years old, Jake Lindsay. Everyone else is, is 20 or below. So uh, lots of potential there. We're going to see him again in a future episode. Looking forward to that for some challenges. And we're going to cut this number down even lower to less players and it just gets so hard at this point. I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to the final when Devs takes on the responsibility of choosing the winner and I can just wash my hands of it. But it is an enjoyable process. If you're enjoying the series, guys, uh, drop a like on the video. We appreciate that. Leave a comment below with who you think is going to win. Has it changed this episode? You've seen another game now. You've got more info than ever. Maybe someone surprised you. Maybe someone's gone down in your estimations. Let us know in the comments. We'll be picking up the women's series again very soon. But until next time, guys, take care. Subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, don't forget to hashtag it.